All right, what's your name? Sophia. Sophia, it's like you are in, well, parts of California remind me of this, actually. That's one thing you won't see a lot of here in the Philippines, but you are seeing it here. Daddy over there, sugar daddy. Let's go, let's go. Sneak peek. Well, I got the air show going on, all these uh, fighter jets in the air, South Korean Air Force. And uh, so every once in a while you hear, it's pretty crazy. Anyway, this is my very last day here in Angeles City at my friend's place. This has been absolutely remarkable and amazing. It was so good to catch up. We haven't seen each other since, well, Barakai, yeah. Oh no, we saw each other in Makati one time, but otherwise, uh, we all lived together at the same time in, in Barakai. And uh, also this time, you know, I didn't do the whole stay near Fields Avenue and just spend every day down at Walking Street. This was different, I got to see more aspects of the city. The city is much bigger than that one street. So to give you a good idea of the place, I think I probably showed you a little bit better. Um, and just like the pricing here, wow, like rentals and everything, really, really nice. So where am I going next? Well, I, uh, I've decided that uh, today I'm heading to La, La Union and uh, I'm gonna go stay at, uh, with Michael on Onstad. Um, and then also a resort that's down there, right on the ocean, it's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. And spend a few days there before I head over to Vegan and then to Baguio. So I'm excited to go, but I'm sad to leave because this has been such an amazing time here just for the last three days in Angeles City. All right, guys, time to go find the bus. That's the hard part to go to Vegan, or not Vegan, sorry, La Union. Um, I'm not sure exactly where to go. There's several different companies, different places. Got to figure it out. Well, it isn't the fanciest bus. It's not the newest bus. I was looking at all the Baguio buses and everything, and they were so beautiful and really nice. And the one going to La Union, La Union um, is a little dated. I feel like air conditioning is on, so we're good. It's a four hour bus, approximately. So uh, it's a bit of a long trip for uh, Hopefully a bus that has some suspension. That's that's the biggest thing. But anyway, I'm off. That's what matters. I'll be there in four hours. Well, I'm up in La Union, but not at where I'm going yet. I think this place is called Agu or something like that. I don't know. The bus stops here for about a half an hour to break for lunch. Um, I'm literally, my guess. 35 minutes from where I need to be, so it's like, oh, it's so close, but that's okay. That's okay. This place is pretty good. Looks nice. Has a goat. I wonder if they sell goat. I don't see a lot of places selling goat, to be honest. But I gotta take a pee. So, I'm excited. Almost there. And I gotta tell you, coming up here, it's so beautiful. So much empty land in between, uh, like, Angeles City area, Clark, and all that. Going up here, it's just like, wow. There's a lot of empty land up here. Um, now it's being used for farms and stuff, but I mean like, you know, it's not congested. Um, the highway was nobody on it. And then once you got up here, you got a little bit of mountains and everything, and then all the mountains on the right. So beautiful. So Baguio is just up that way, so we're really close. Hello, hello. No, I'm good. I made it to Aaron Guy. Michael Onstad is here somewhere to pick me up, you know, the king of health insurance. He said he look out for the white limo. All right, thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Move this up. Taxi. No, I have somebody coming. Thank you. I got some waves over there. Oh, I got a bus now in the way, though. There is the white limo. All right. The white limo of Michael Onstad. Nobody's gonna steal it. Listen, listen, he didn't even come to open the door. It's a limo. What kind of limo is that? Oh, that that's a limo driver. I'm just scared I'll greet you. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, well, that was a little easier than I thought. Okay. And honestly, if you didn't have to, uh, Stop for 30 minutes for lunch. Uh, probably made this in two hours and 45 minutes. Oh, not bad. Uh, not bad. I, I can do that in a car. 
you do that? I grab two hours for a feather? All right, let's go. Let's go. It's so hot here. He tells yeah, me it's gonna be better if we go in this when we get to the beach. Yeah. All right. We're fit. I'm gonna get an SUV for tomorrow. So it'll be it. Oh. Not worried. I'm not ready. Oh, we're gonna cart it around. We're gonna show you the hot spots. How? Wait, wait. In this? Not in this. No. I was like, there's no air conditioning. There's no, no way. Well, there is. But oh, there is. It's uh, so hot outside. It's not yeah, it can't parking. keep up. I was like, hey, I'd rather go oh, for a tour and a trike then. for the big trek. Ah, yeah. very good. It's got monster air con. Beautiful. I do have for all. Alright, we've got the family here. Family and neighbors. Say hello, everybody. We're going to go down to the beach. Say hello. Hi. Hello. And uh, I gotta find out a little bit more about this town, this area. I just found out there's a watering hole for expats, that kind of thing, down by the beach too. Pretty hard to find those kind of places like outside of Barakai or Dumaguete, that kind of thing. So yeah, looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. Well, we've made it into San Juan, and wow, is it ever a tourist place. Definitely a tourist place. Very trendy, hip, cool place to be. Lots of uh, expats must live here because I saw a lot of Texan flags, American flags, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and we're just off the main road here that goes along the beach, and we're going into Milana at Kuana. Kahuna. Milana at Kuhuna, Spa Luana. Anyway, it's really nice, and uh, Michael thought this would be a good place to, for me to come and check out. Look at they got all the rooms here. It's right on the beach, of course. It's beautiful here. It's much cooler here. You're right, Mike. Yeah. Feel the breeze. Natural air conditioning. Yeah. Nice, nice ocean breeze. surfboards here there's people playing beach volleyball corner couple there beautiful pool over here unbelievable basketball court everything everything looks so picture perfect it's like you are in well parts of California remind me of this actually so nice here so I know where it was told as surfing town but as you can see they said yeah there's kind of waves but it's not like there's big waves it's not like Chargao or something so it is uh, more of a peaceful type of surfing, is what I've been told. At least by uh, our friends there that are local. And he's lived here six years now. There's a place called Something Daddy over there. Sugar Daddy? 
I don't know, might be a sugar daddy. Would make sense. Anyway, so yeah, it's a hot spot. A lot of people love this area and it's just coming into sunset soon. So there'll be a lot more people out soon. Oh, it's getting high. So all the way down here, there's lots of restaurants and bars and everything. And you kind of can walk, it's not continuous, but you can go up and around a bit, a little bit of rock and everything before you get back to sand, but it's not too bad. photo shoot here, the video shoot, something like that. That's one thing you won't see a lot of here in the Philippines, but you are seeing it here. It's people out literally tanning on purpose. You come to the Philippines and everybody's trying to be as white as possible and they're like putting all this whitener on sunscreen, everything is just whitening, whitening, whitening. And uh, here this is much more reminiscent of in the West where we all go to the beach, try to get as dark as possible. Oh, those are probably some nice Airbnbs, it looks like. Definitely could be like that. All right, now I can read it. It's slush daddy, not, not sugar daddy. Different kind of daddy. Surfing lessons, there you go. So about uh, $11 an hour. Surf guide advanced lesson is gonna cost you like 13, and then you have to rent the board. I don't know if that's per hour though, probably not. It's an Alo Aloha burger, pineapple, ham, and a burger patty, all in one. Looks good. Are you gonna show me to the front desk. They look nice, and I know they have some around the pool too. Those are really nice. They're probably a lot more premium. And I believe it's an Australian that owns the place. An Australian owns the place? Oh. No, French Canadian. Yeah. French Canadian. How did I forget that? They had poutine. And uh, look at that. He's not here today. So we're gonna go ask the manager. Oh, that's it right there. Okay. All right, we got Carlo, and he's going to help us uh, go look at one of the rooms. Room six is available, I'm told. So we're going to go check it out. And I was wrong about the French-Canadian thing. I was given bad information. Um, he, he might be a manager or something, but it is a corporation that owns many other properties. It's quite a nice place. All right, room six, so right beside the restaurant here. There we go, number six here. All right, it's quite nice in here. You got a nice desk, you got a TV, you got a nice bed. It's a double. Got a fan up there, high ceilings. Connecting room if you uh, have a bigger family. Closet space. Yeah, pretty good shower. Nice shower head, actually. Yeah, this is really nice, it's pretty modern. I don't know what it goes for, so we're gonna go back to the front desk and find out. I think this is the only room they said they could show me right now, so. Okay, well, I found out the rate, 7,450 starting at, by the way, that's weekdays. And they go up to 23,450 pesos for their largest units. So a lot more money than I expected. Um, but that might be the market price for this neighborhood, I'm not sure. Let's go down over here. Take a look to see if I can get an idea of what the big, big ones go for. It's probably the pool one. It says a house on it, so. It might be maybe one at the end here, but also might be one of the bigger ones that are right by the pool. So I'm surprised that's the rate out this way. But I also notice in La Union, there's so many undeveloped areas all the way up. So really it's until you get to this point and then the city that's just south of here, which is at least San Juan, um, that most of it's pretty undeveloped and it's just these areas. So it will probably be one of those, it's my guess, with your own little balcony there and your own entrance to the pool. So there you go. Now you know who those rates are for this area. 
some of our nobody working it right now but maybe if they see somebody they come over no. look at that I haven't seen a nachos looking like that for a long time that actually looks like real cheese yeah. none of that uh, spread stuff you know yeah, this trick is as flat as a nacho yeah yeah between all that cheese I don't see, even see the nachos anymore It's really pretty here as the sun gets closer and closer to going down a lot more people come out a couple of the places along the beach here become like nightclubs like with flashing lights and everything and some music and yeah people start really showing up here at the beach I love though how the sky turns like pure orange like ah it looks so pretty right now waves crashing this is really really nice I can see why it's like a hot spot though, definitely. And it, it's not that bad. Like it was another 20 minutes to come up here. So I would say it would take you three hours from Angeles City to make it up to this area. But there is an airport over at uh, Alocos Norte. And my understanding that's a couple hours uh, north of here. So you could fly in there too. Anyway, I really like this area. You could do a little bit of surfing. It's not crazy waves, but decent and definitely good for walks on the beach and everything and a lot of a lot a lot of people are out here enjoying it well i'm out for a little walk in uh, michael's town at night there's a 7-eleven around the corner apparently so it's like okay i'll go for a walk to check out the 7-eleven see if i ran into any people along the way yeah i'm really tired it's seven by the way so quiet. So to give you an idea. Hello guys. Hello. How are you? What time is it? Seven o'clock? Yeah, it's like seven, right? Oh, eight o'clock. Okay. So yeah, to give you an idea. Eight o'clock at night. It's pretty quiet. Got a couple vendors. And uh, a Franks and Burgers, of course. But uh, not much else going on. Hello. How are you, sir? What do you got there? Show my? What's that? Whack whack. Whack, whack whack. Oh, it's the egg, right? Yes. Yeah, the eggs. Sorry, it's really dark in your car. I'd be able yeah. to see you, but fantastic. Love whack whack. Yes. Pleasure. Wait, wait, you're going to take off? I was going to ask you some questions. I was going to ask you about the town. Hey, you guys live here, yeah? Oh, not good English. Anybody here good English? You, have you lived here your whole life? Yes. Yeah, what do you think of the town? I just got here, so I don't know anything about the town. And I'm from Canada, so. Is it a big town, small town? It's a big town. Is a big town, okay. Is there a lot of cool stuff to do? Do you have any nice beaches? No, no. I went to, uh, before here, I was in San Juan? Or no, what's the one? The one up here, right? The nice beaches? I think that's what it's called, San Juan? That was quite nice. But you have nothing like that here? No. So what, what, do, what do people do for fun here? What's that? I didn't hear you. Wait, what do people do for fun here? Why is it funny? 
I know they come and get hamburgers here, of course, of course. All right, what's your name? Sophia. Sophia, pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Sophia. I'm gonna keep going, thank you. Guys, you wanna talk? No. All right, all right, all right. Uh, my name's Michael. Well, I made it to the main street and that is where the 7-Eleven is. So there's a little bit of light over here, a little bit of people, I guess, a couple. What you're gonna find interesting if you haven't been to the Philippines before is that 7-Elevens is like a hangout spot. People come here to eat because they have fried chicken and a few other different items. And they sit outside here and inside. I know what you're thinking, Michael. Did you just vlog a 7-Eleven? Yeah, I did. All right, sleepy town. Not much going on. I found some people that are still out and about. It's been so dark and quiet in this town. I am so glad to find some people. Find the basketball court, that's the rule. What's your YouTube channel? That Philippines life. Yeah, find a basketball court and you'll find people. That's the way it is. Now, Michael used to come down here and drink beers, and then he got it too expensive, he said, because he'd have to buy everybody beers. <laughs> and it just came too much. But uh, yeah, not much going on. How's it going, guys? All right, I gotta get closer, it's too dark. Too dark, my camera. How's it going? So everybody here having a good night? It's pretty quiet tonight, huh? Uh, we just finished playing basketball. Oh, you just finished playing? There you go. Well, it, it is a Tuesday night. I walked around town pretty dark. <laughs> Not much going on here. Is, uh, have you always lived here? Yeah, all my life. Do you guys have any nice beaches in this part? Oh, it's a little bit far away. Uh, we have the Samara Beach. Okay, Samara Beach. About two to three kilometers. Oh, okay, that is a bit far. Yeah, yeah. So, what about, uh, uh, so you've grown up here. What, 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 what is something other than basketball to do for fun? Or do you just go? Do you just go up to the no, city? We, we go to school, uh, and in the afternoon after we go home, we just play basketball. Yeah. I think that's well, you, all. well, you go up to the city sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I school at the city. Oh, that. Oh, okay. And there's more to do there. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. And uh, so nice. I, I went to uh, some of your nice beaches that are further down yeah, past the city. Condo? San Juan, yeah. yeah. And that was that was pretty, but oh, it's so expensive there. Yeah. Uh, Jeez. I, I just filmed a few places and they were like telling me it's 7,000 plus pesos per night. <laughs> yeah, that's more than, that was their lowest price. The highest price was 23,000 a night. If they're doing well, it doesn't really matter, right? Sorry, anyway, who won tonight? Who's the winners? We all lost. You all lost? We all tied. Well, who'd you play against? Oh, you tied? Yeah. Listen, nobody's a loser then, everybody's a winner. That's how it works, that's how it works. All right, cool, cool. Well, anyway, maybe tomorrow I'm gonna go to the market and everything. There'll be yeah. more people tomorrow morning. Have you tried balut? Uh, yes. Not my, not my favorite. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Unborn chicken and knowing you're eating its bones and its <laughs> eyes and yeah. totally not my thing. <laughs> I gotta tell you. Like it if you, continue, you try it once. If you continue to eat it, you might want. You might I want might, I might, but I might not. Also, I might not. Also, you never know. There's a whole group of people over there. What's over there? They're practicing a. Dance, I think. Oh, well, let's, go. let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's <laughs> go. All right, wait, wait. It's so dark. It, it's so dark. I have to go on camera here, like right there. There we go. Hello, everybody. I hear you're practicing. I, I hear you're practicing a fiesta dance. And it's for March 9? March 9, wonderful, wonderful. All right, when am I gonna see this dance? Okay. Let's go, let's go! Sneak peek. There we go. Wow.
get the crowd too, you know? You don't see this stuff in Canada. You don't see this anywhere else. Only in the Philippines. Whoa! Right back down again. Impressive. Wow, guys! Amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow, so there you go. What, Mar March? March 9, March 9, March 9. You gotta come down here, you can't miss it, you can't miss it. Oh, that's so cool, guys. You guys are amazing. Great job, great job. How long have you been practicing? Yes. How long you practice? For one week. I one, one month. For one month? Yes. Every day, every night? Every night. Wow, one month. That's amazing. That takes dedication. That's so cool. For 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again